Salam sejahtera. Hari ini saya akan mempersembahkan kepada Anda proyek terbaru kami di Melaka, The Sale. Tahun 2019, The Sale memperoleh penghargaan One Belt One Road Initiative di China dan satu-satunya perwakilan Malaysia dalam konvensi properti tersebut. The Sale didirikan di atas lahan reklamasi seluas 11 hektar lebih dan terletak di kota Laksamana Melaka dengan status lahan perniagaan. Desain arsitektural yang ditampilkan memperlihatkan 9 bangunan utama yang berdiri di atas sebuah landasan menggambarkan sembilan layar terkembang yang menggerakkan bahtera di tengah laut. Pada bagian yang menjadi landasan seluas kurang lebih 100.000 meter persegi, akan menjadi pusat perbelanjaan terbesar di Melaka, diperuntukkan sebagai pusat perbelanjaan bagi barang-barang bermerek luar dan dalam negeri. Total ketinggian masing-masing menara adalah 255 meter, yang terdiri dari 61 lantai. Di lantai 59 dan 60 pada bangunan utama, terdapat The Moon, sebuah teater dengan layar 360 derajat. Di dalamnya Anda dapat melihat keadaan ruang angkasa kemanapun mata memandang. Juga menampilkan suasana hutan maupun di kedalaman lautan seperti keadaan yang sebenarnya. Dengan menggunakan teknologi visual terkini dari Panasonic, pemandangan apapun yang Anda inginkan dapat ditampilkan secara sempurna di sini. Bagian teratas menara dipersiapkan untuk restoran dan bar yang menyediakan berbagai jenis makanan dan minuman dari seluruh dunia. Di lantai 15, terjajar melingkar kolam renang terpanjang di dunia sepanjang 460 meter. Anda dapat berenang dari satu bangunan ke bangunan lain tanpa halangan sambil menikmati pemandangan Selat Melaka. Kesembilan bangunan utama ini dibagi atas tiga peruntukan. Tiga bangunan diperuntukkan sebagai kondotel, kondominium dengan pelayanan berstandar hotel berbintang. Tiga bangunan lagi diperuntukkan bagi hotel mewah bintang 5 dan tiga bangunan lainnya diperuntukkan bagi perkantoran. Pelaksanaan pembangunan ini dibagi dalam enam tahap. Pembangunan tahap pertama adalah galeri pemasaran berdesain songket emas. Pada bangunan seluas hampir 8.000 meter persegi ini, terdapat 10 unit ruang pamer dan restoran. Dan pada bagian depan desain arsitektur ini, juga dilengkapi dengan teknologi visual dari Panasonic, yang pada malam hari akan menampilkan kekayaan budaya Melaka, sekaligus menjadikannya lokasi objek wisata bagi para turis. Dan sekarang, mari kita kembali ke atas, tepatnya ke lantai 59 dan 60 yang didesain menjadi sebuah jembatan berbentuk cincin yang menghubungkan ke sembilan menara serta menciptakan konsep globalisasi yang disebut Unity Skyring. Kami mempersiapkannya bagi orang-orang dari berbagai negara dan saat ini telah bergabung dengan kami antara lain dari Hong Kong, Beijing, Shanghai, dan Jepang. Terlihat dari sisi luar, seperti inilah penampakan keseluruhan Unity Skyring yang menakjubkan. Taman bertajuk Sky Garden yang indah terletak di lantai 15, yang juga terdapat sebuah aula konferensi. Aula ini dapat menampung 4.500 orang untuk sebuah pameran, expo, bahkan konser besar bertaraf internasional. Sekarang saya akan bawa Anda kembali ke lantai dasar, menuju ke bagian belakang dari mega proyek ini. Di sini kami mempersiapkan 72 unit pertokoan 4 lantai yang dilengkapi dengan lift di setiap bangunan. Pertokohan ini dibagi dalam tiga tema budaya, yaitu Timur, Barat, dan Malaysia. Data statistik tahun 2019 menyebutkan bahwa sebanyak 18 juta turis datang ke Melaka setiap tahunnya. Lokasi wisata Jonker Street saat ini sudah sangat padat dan tidak akan dapat lagi menampung para turis. Oleh karena itu, kami bangun lokasi berlatar belakang kekayaan budaya Melaka bagi para turis tersebut. Bangunan berwarna putih ini merepresentasikan budaya Barat yang diwakili oleh Portugis, Belanda, dan Inggris. Bangunan dengan warna yang lebih gelap merepresentasikan budaya timur yang diwakili oleh Jepang dan Korea. Dan bangunan berwarna merah ini tentu saja merepresentasikan percampuran kebudayaan Melayu, Cina, dan India, yaitu kebudayaan Babanyonya, Malaysia. Selanjutnya, mari kita lihat proyek ini secara keseluruhan. Lanskapnya memiliki desain yang futuristik namun modern, yang memberikan esensi sebuah taman modern yang dirancang dengan memenuhi rasio Green Building Index. Proyek ramah lingkungan ini menerapkan sistem pengangkutan limbah otomatis melalui pipa yang digerakkan oleh udara dan dilengkapi dengan sistem penampungan air hujan. Desain kamar berstandar bintang 5 yang mewah ini menggunakan lantai marmer dengan tembok perhiaskan ornamen berwarna emas dan desain jendela yang lebar mengarah ke Selat Melaka. Dan seluruh kamar mandi didesain dan dilengkapi dengan perlengkapan yang memberikan kenyamanan dan keamanan terbaik dari merek-merek internasional seperti Toto, Kohler, dan Yale. Sebagai penutup, saya berharap penjelasan saya tadi dapat memberikan gambaran yang cukup menarik. Sekali lagi, saya ingin mengucapkan terima kasih atas waktu yang diberikan pada saya untuk mempersembahkan The Sale Melaka, kebanggaan era globalisasi. 
Terima kasih. Selamat siang, Bapak Ibu. Kita uh, penuh. Uh, terima kasih selamat datang di acara kita webinar FKU uh, pada sore hari ini. Uh, bersama kita ada teman-teman satu -teman sponsor kita hari ini. Um, dari Sendai Tim Sengtai Internasional, salah satu sponsor uh, FKUG um, FKUG adalah forum komunikasi umat Kristen Indonesia yang di GL jadi kali ini kita akan um, memberikan uh, event untuk talk webinar kita bisa dengarkan sama-sama dan diskusi sedikit tentang Sengtai dan topik yang menarik pada sore hari ini um, Nanti kita bisa tanya jawab dan kita bisa mendengarkan lebih lanjut presentasi dari Asengta ya tadi. Uh, nanti akan dibawakan dalam dua bahasa, jadi kita bisa diskusi langsung. Uh, itu saja. Kita uh, punya tim Asengta, Nicholas and team. Uh, glad to have you here. Um, you. Glad to you. Yeah, to have your your team. Uh, I think. Um, Yeah, we're gonna get a full team now. Um, hopefully, that's that's um, first event for us. And sure. yeah, this this will be um, kind of like um, a knowledge of the uh, introductions of Sengtai and what you, you guys have and doing right now. So at least uh, all of us can know a bit better about you and the team and also company. Um, Bukerin. Um, Slide-nya nanti um, saya dulunya nanti. Um, Oke, okay, uh, Nicholas, I hand over to you um, straight to the um, company introductions, and um, so I'll pass the the stage to you. Sure. Okay. 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 Uh, so I think uh, I also need a uh, part visa to come uh, to join me. Yeah. Is part visa here? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, Pak Beri, uh, yeah. Nicholas, Ibu Ana, uh, Ibu Patricia, Bu Karin, apa kabar? Baik, 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 baik. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. All right. Ah, we have the Prince Court uh, background view. Okay. Yeah. Where's your mask? Huh? Where's your oh, mask? <laughs> I'm here alone. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, I'll be introducing. Uh, my name is uh, Nicholas Leo, uh, S.C. Leo. Uh, today I'll be uh, doing a brief introduction of uh, what Shanghai International does in uh, Malaysia and internationally. And of course, I uh, thank you to uh, the whole team from uh, UKI, FKI, UKI, and also Parisa for my uh, English to uh, Las Indonesia's uh, translation today. So Pariza, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So uh, I'll just share my screen now uh, on the profile of uh, Shanghai International. Can everyone see this? Just uh, yeah, do your finger like this, you know, and then you say yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll start with this uh, first slide. I hope you guys can see this. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Because okay, so Shanghai uh, International actually is a Malaysian-owned uh, company. Okay, the uh, founder and CEO, of course, is uh, the whole SL Leon herself, and uh, the uh, the main uh, business that we do here is uh, property development, and uh, we started that in uh, 2012. Uh, for this business and then venture into more uh, sectors like uh, hotel and resort ownerships, uh, acquisition and redevelopment which means uh, taking over old projects or abandoned projects and redevelop it into a new project which uh, one of it very good example is uh, the one in Ayakaro, our Ames Hotel. So uh, maybe Pariza you, you would like to translate? Oh, uh, is it? Uh, do I need to 
uh, I mean, after the presentation or for each uh, each page? Uh, I'm, I think uh, every time I think I need to stop for a while for you to okay. translate so that you you catch up what I'm saying. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Same thing international. Uh, dari Bapak Ibu Ibu sekalian, uh, didirikan 2012 di uh, Hong Kong oleh Dato' Dato' Isilong uh, dan uh, main bisnis mereka adalah di property, uh, hotel, luxury shop, uh, juga akuisisi dan uh, redevelopment pembangunan kembali. Uh, grup ini sekarang sudah meluaskan sayapnya sampai ke Malaysia, Hong Kong, Jepang, Shenzhen. Beijing, Shanghai, Korea, bahkan sampai ke US ke Seattle. Yep. Uh, well, Pak Wiza already translated uh, six of my slides in one second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, definitely, uh, just now what I've said, uh, some of the uh, information has been uh, translated by Dr. Pak Wiza. Thank you again. And uh, these are some of the subsidiaries that uh, Shanghai International has. If you can see under uh, profit development, we have Shanghai Impression, which is doing, which is the company uh, responsible for uh, building the sale Malacca. Uh, we'll show that to you later on the screen. Uh, Plenty Fuel Marketing is for our uh, Ames Hotel and uh, Metro Square, and uh, Quantum Metro Development is for our Regalia Beachfront Hotel. That is also in Malacca, and of course. We do have uh, strategies, firms, uh, hospitality and infrastructure companies uh, doing different type of business, uh, as I've said, from uh, hotel management to uh, F&B outlets and also to uh, building roads and bridge and everything that's under infrastructure. Okay. Uh, uh, just now, Pak Riza also mentioned that uh, we already uh, have our own branches over in uh, some of the major cities in the world. Like uh, old, the oldest one is in Hong Kong, uh, that was in uh, 2013, and up to uh, China in Beijing, Shanghai, Japan, Tokyo in 2019. And these are some of the uh, international branches uh, uh, pictures. Uh, these are all branches uh, photos taken there. So definitely, uh, we would like to invite everyone to join us uh, if you've ever been to uh, some of the places here. Okay, I'll skip through this. Okay, so this is Dato Leong. She's the uh, founder and CEO. She's a lawyer herself by profession, but uh, after venturing into the uh, property development uh, business, she has uh, then been uh, let go uh, from doing the law 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 firms, but still up to date, we still have three law firms in Malaysia, uh, in Kuala Lumpur, in uh, Ipoh, and also in Shah Alam. Maybe Pak Riza, you want to say something on this? Okay. Uh, ini adalah dia adalah Dato Leo Seli. Dia dia adalah founder dan CEO dari grup uh, Sengka International. Uh, beliau se Basicnya adalah seorang uh, lawyer, pengacara. Dan uh, sekarang walaupun sudah berkembang ke arah properti, uh, beliau tetap masih menjalankan tiga uh, law firm di KM, Dipo, dan uh, sorry, Rambo, KM, Dipo, dan Alam, Shah Alam. Shah Alam. Yes. Okay. And over the years, of course, uh, these are some of the highlights uh, from getting the Dato Shield in 2015. To uh, being uh, one of the uh, presidential volunteers uh, in the U.S. presidential office in 2016, up to the uh, Chinese uh, Entrepreneurial Summit, uh, for being one of the uh, top ladies in the in the uh, Chinese community. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tadi uh, kita lihat uh, di sini ada penghargaan pada saat beliau uh, di nobatkan dengan Tito Dato oleh Sultan Pahang dari Malaysia, uh, beliau juga mendapatkan award dari uh, ke, apa namanya, kantor kepresidenan Amerika uh, untuk voluntary service dan juga uh, penghargaan beliau sebagai salah satu uh, entrepreneur wira swasta wanita uh, yang terkemuka pada uh, 2018. 
thing. And uh, what makes uh, Shanghai International uh, emerge so suddenly in Malaysia? If you can look at uh, the more traditional uh, big names in Malaysia, uh, Shanghai is not actually that familiar for over the years. But we emerge from our journey of being the white knight. So uh, when I say white knight, it means uh, we were the company that saves a lot of abandoned projects. So they listed us as a white knight. Uh, so projects that are going abandoned, they are not doing well, that uh, the developers has uh, failed to deliver to their customers. Dato Leong actually went into the project and uh, revived it by, uh, by taking over the project, redesign it, repackage it, and selling it off to other uh, international customers. Ya, yeah, uh, salah satu kenapa Sengka International ini bisa menjadi uh, sangat sukses dan melejit dengan cepat adalah karena uh, apa yang beliau kerjakan, sehingga beliau mendapatkan uh, gelar sebagai kesatria putih. Jadi kesatria putih ini bukan karena warna kulit beliau putih, bukan. Tetapi beliau adalah orang yang menolong uh, atau company yang menolong company lain uh, dengan cara membeli proyek-proyek yang sudah terbengkalai, yang sudah tidak sanggup dilanjutkan, lalu kemudian uh, proyek tersebut di-redesign lagi, di-repackaging lagi, uh, kemudian uh, proyek itu dikembangkan dan dijual, sehingga menjadi uh, sesuatu yang berharga. Thank you. Uh, of course, uh, over the uh, years that we won, so probably I'll just talk about the ones that is uh, most most recently is 2021 from iProperty, which we won the uh, best developer, the uh, visionary award, and also the best uh, commercial development for the sale. So these three are the most significant ones. Nah, ini adalah penghargaan perhargaan yang didapat dan yang tiga terakhir ini. Pada 2021 adalah penghargaan yang cukup uh, uh, yang cukup tinggi value-nya, nilainya, yaitu sebagai Best Developer untuk People's Choice Award, uh, untuk Visionary Award karena membangun Melaka, dan juga uh, Best Commercial Development untuk The Sale. And uh, some of the uh, teams, teamwork or team that you can see, all these are from international uh, agencies and also uh, international customers here. Nah, ini adalah uh, gambar dari klien-klien uh, customer internasional dan juga tim-tim uh, internasionalnya Sengtai. Okay, strategic partners. Uh, over the years, of course, we develop uh, a lot of uh, strategic partners uh, like, for say, uh, construction teams from uh, China, uh, Power China, CREC, CRECG, uh, these two are powerhouse in, uh, in, in, in China itself. They are uh, rank top 500 com uh, global companies. And uh, some local team are from uh, the uh, Titan Ritz. These are local Malaysian construction teams that are helping us to develop, uh, to build up all our constructions. And also hotel management company from Alori. This is a French and a Hong Kong company. Ya, ini adalah partner-partner dari Shanghai, antara lain uh, Power China dan CRCEG. Mereka bergerak dalam bidang uh, pembangkit, terus ke pembangkit listrik. Juga kemudian ada uh, Titan Race, ini perusahaan lokal dalam bidang konstruksi yang membantu Shanghai untuk membangun proyek-proyek um, uh, properti. Dan juga Alori sebagai uh, partner untuk hotel management. So just some of the pictures that uh, we visited the partners and also they coming to visit us in Malaysia. Okay, coming to milestones, uh, some to talk about, I won't go through everything. Definitely one of the big one is uh, the One Belt One Road Forum that we participated in uh, 2019. This is the uh, initiative of uh, China to, uh, to expand Uh, to all the uh, countries, so Malaysia is part of that uh, that initiative. Okay, and also uh, we did invited our uh, governor to 
governor of Malacca at that time, the ex-governor of uh, Malacca at that time, uh, Tun Kali Yaakub, to uh, Shengtai's uh, Shanghai branch grand opening. And uh, we also did a lot of uh, semin uh, uh, what you call this, uh, events uh, that pulls in the uh, relationship between two, two countries, uh, between Malaysia and China. Meetings with uh, uh, you know influential people in Malaysia, just to have them support Shing uh, Tai's initiative uh, from uh, from Tun Mahathir, and also visiting some of the uh, governmental bodies that can help us in the business. So these are some signing ceremony, uh, our groundbreaking ceremony and our hotel topping up ceremonies. So uh, one very good big thing is uh, during this uh, pandemic, when it happened uh, last year, Shintai uh, totally stopped a lot of their international sales uh, because Shintai's uh, uh, customer network, 98% of it comes from international market. And uh, because of that, we have been locked down in Malaysia for quite some time now, but that didn't stop us uh, because we have the, uh, we use that time to develop more partnership from local partners and international partners. For say, number one, uh, IWG. IWG is the uh, International Workplace Group. Uh, under them, they have subsidiaries of uh, Regus, Spaces, uh, Deep HQ. They are a uh, world's biggest virtual office group uh, that are do running. So uh, uh, Shingtai International and IWG is actually partners that, are, that will develop first uh, Malacca's uh, virtual office in Malacca itself. And these, these photos are the signing ceremonies at that time. And if you see this on the right-hand side, that's the uh, current governor of Malacca and the right one. Garde, Garde is uh, actually a Japanese company that is uh, responsible for our uh, shopping malls uh, design and branding and uh, also pulling in other brands for us. Fashion TV, Fashion TV, this is uh, coming from Paris itself and uh, Shintai International actually is the uh, representative for Fashion TV Malaysia. So uh, expect more to come uh, in terms of fashion because we'll be also uh, giving out or doing our own uh, in-house modeling schools, professional makeup schools and courses. Uh, Can Team, Can Team is also an uh, Indonesian company. They, I think they have uh, a lot of branches in uh, Indonesia also. Uh, they are specialized in, in glove making. And this year we did sign with them to, uh, pro to come out and build the uh, 110 uh, production line for gloves, for Gloves Hub. And this is, uh, will happen in Malacca. Uh, exact location will be in Jasin, Malacca itself. And also we, uh, during the signing, we did have uh, Datu Sri Rizwan. Muhammad Rizwan to come to be our witness of this signing. Uh, over the years, of course, charity is a big thing. Uh, I think uh, we believe in uh, giving back to the society or, uh, and we founded the uh, Happy Angel Charity Foundation, which has been uh, giving out a lot back to the com uh, community uh, ever since. And over the years, uh, every, every year we've been uh, giving out uh, to uh, the old folks home and also the, uh, the, the, uh, the kids uh, foundation. And of course, during this time of the uh, pandemic, we are also giving out free food in uh, Malacca uh, nearby our hotel. Over the years, uh, I won't go into all this because uh, later my colleagues will be helping us and uh, giving more presentation. But definitely uh, I want to put your attention to uh, the key development of our uh, projects. 
uh, of course, it leads to our main one today. Uh, there's two projects that we want to present to everyone. That is uh, the sale and also Novo. So next up, I would like to invite uh, my colleague, Mr. Anson, to uh, give an introduction to the sale. Hi, hi everyone. Okay, so my name is Anson Yi from Chengtai International. So before I start, uh, I would like to show you a video of the sale. So to give you a brief understanding of what uh, our iconic project is about. Hi, Riho, are you there? Sorry, just give me a minute. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Riho, are you there? All right. See you, Leo. I'm Jeff from Chinese International. Today, I'm bringing you a brief walk on our new project, The Sale from Malacca. Today, I would like to bring you the presentation of The Sale Malacca. The project is located at Kota Laksamana, Malacca, built on a 27.5 acre of reclamation land. The project has participated in the One Belt, One Road initiative in China in 2019. In terms of architectural design, you can see we have nine blocks of buildings sitting on one podium, mimicking the sales joining forces coming together to be one big sailboat. Here, inside the podium, we have one million square feet of shopping mall, bringing you brands from foreign and local. The shopping mall itself will be the largest shopping mall in Malacca. The total height of each tower will be 255 meters, 61 story. On the level 59th and 16th level on the main building, we have this, the Moon 360 degree experiential center. Inside, it portrays all type of virtual reality and technology coming from Panasonic. It can be in space, in the forest, or under the sea. Anything you can think of, Each podium, we also have FMPs. On the 15th level, we have one of the world's longest swimming pool. 460 meters, swimmers can actually swim from one building to another building while enjoying the streets of the darkest view. We have a total of nine blocks of building. Three blocks of five condominium hotels, three blocks of five star hotels, and three blocks of work offices. All the offices will be targeting one block for wellness, one block for education, and one block for professional office use. In terms of the design-wise, here we have another night view. The facade building are made up of glass and metal panels, giving you a stunning view. In terms of construction, we have a total of six spaces. First space being the golden socket sales gallery design. Inside this 60,000 square feet of spaces, we have 10 units of showrooms and one restaurant. And on the facade of this architectural design, we will equip it with Panasonic projection technology. And at night time, we will project out the rich and cultural history of Malacca, thus being another hotspot for tourists. And now, let us go back to 59th and the 60th floor, where we have designed the Unity Sky Ring. It will be a link bridge connecting all nine blocks of towers together, thus creating a globalization concept. We have always believed the world is getting smaller and we intend to sell off the buildings to different countries of people. And now of all of us are from Hong Kong, Beijing, Shanghai, and Japan itself. Another stunning view from the bird's eye view of how the whole link bridge looks like from the outside. And on the 15th level, we have our beautiful sky garden with the conference hall. The hall can fit up to 4,500 people. And imagine with all the expos and exhibitions and even the concerts can be hosted here. And now, let me bring you back to the ground floor and at the back of this whole project, we have our Malacca Cultural Square. Here, we have 72 units of four-story high buildings with elevator in each building. We have divided it into three sections, the East, the West, and the Malaysian. Here, we have made studies that 18 million of tourists come to Malacca every year, and Jonka Street cannot actually fit all of them. And thus, we have created another cultural square 
provide our rich and culture to the tourist itself. And here you can see the white color design up on the west, whereby Portuguese, Dutch, and the English. And the darker themes are for the Easterns, whereby the Japanese, the Koreans will be displayed here. And of course, the red buildings are for our Malaysian, Baba Nonya, Malay, Chinese, and Indian. Again, let us have a big view of how the whole project looks like. The landscape holds a futuristic yet modern design that captures the essence of modern day garden, designed to comply with the green building index. The project harvests the benefits of sustainability from pneumatic waste conveyance system to rainwater harvesting system. These are the highlights of sustainable development goals. The lavish designs of the rooms is our five star standards covered with marble flooring, gold lining walls, and large panels of windows overlooking the Straits of Malacca. From international brands like Total Color and Yale, rest assured that we have the best fittings equipped in each room in terms of comfort and security. As a conclusion, I hope the talking points of the project has been interesting. Once again, I would like to thank you, panel judges, for letting us to participate in this year's award and hopefully to become one of the winners. Thank you. Anson, your mic is off. Your mic is off. Okay, can you, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, isn't that an amazing uh, project, uh, the sale? So, uh, We Shintai International is actually uh, developing an iconic building uh, in Malacca. So, for my part, I wouldn't go uh, into technical, but... Uh, However, I will just uh, explain to you guys uh, why you guys should uh, invest in Malacca and why Lu Xingtai International actually invested uh, so much uh, into Malacca, this city. So uh, I would like to invite uh, Pak Riza to translate my part. Hi, Pak Riza. Okay, hi. Okay, hi. Okay, so I will share the screen right now. Yes. All right, so my topic for today's presentation will be why you should invest uh, in Malacca. Okay, so next. Okay, so I assume that a lot of you have, uh, have heard of uh, Malacca. And of course, uh, some of you who are not from Malaysia, of course, you have heard of the name of Malacca. So here are some basic information about Malacca. So Malacca is actually located at the southern of uh, Malaysia. So as you can see, the area of Malacca is actually, uh, the total area of Malacca is actually 1,664 square kilometers. So as for the central Malacca, it's uh, around approximately 300 uh, kilometers uh, square. And also, for, as for population of Malacca, so total population would be around 1.2 million. So consists of uh, local Malaccas. Uh, and also foreigners and students. Because uh, as we know, there are a lot of uh, universities in Malacca. So people tend to, you know, to go to Malacca to study. And also for foreigners, uh, some of the expats, uh, you know, they work there and also to uh, stay there. And uh, for Malacca population, uh, in central Malacca itself, uh, the population is uh, 60%. Ya, kalau kita lihat di sini area Malaka itu seluas 1.664 km persegi uh, yang terbagi atas tiga uh, lokasi tiga area tiga distrik yaitu Sentral Malaka, Alor Gajah dan Jasin. Total populasi adalah 1,1 juta 900 yang mana terbagi atas uh, populasi uh, rakyat Malaka 872.000. Kemudian ada foreigners, orang asing, expatriates dan lain-lain 200.000 dan pelajar 120.000. Dari total populasi ini 60% dari mereka adanya di Sentra uh, Melaka. Alright, so next uh, these are some of the uh, reasons or I will say selling points or why should you invest uh, in Melaka. So of course uh, first of all would be tourism. So secondly, would be uh, medical tourism. And third, will be manufacturing. And uh, last but not least, and which is the most important one, uh, is uh, Straits of Malacca. Ya, ini adalah empat uh, selling point utama dari Pak 
Ya, mengapa kita harus invest di Melaka? Yang pertama tentu adalah uh, wisatanya. Yang kedua adalah uh, wisata, med- wisata medis yang mana banyak uh, orang datang ke Melaka untuk uh, mendapatkan uh, uh, treatment medis. Yang ketiga adalah manufacture. Uh, yang keempat adalah tentunya uh, selat Melaka yang yang kelihatan cantik. Alright, so tourism. Uh, Malacca has been known uh, pop, pop, as a popular city of attractions and also a tourist destination. So all this while we know that you know Malacca is rich, uh, is uh, rich of uh, heritage, and also there are a lot of uh, interesting landmarks, uh, also known as Malacca City or City of Malacca. So this place uh, has a unique combination of you know the past and the modern future which uh, we have this element in our project, the sale as well. And as you can see in the slide, Malacca was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in uh, 2008, together with Georgetown uh, in Penang. Ya, uh, ini adalah mengapa uh, salah satu poin utama dari bidang wisata, karena Melaka ini sebagai kota sejarah, yang juga di... Uh, apa namanya disematkan sebagai uh, warisan dunia pada tahun 2008 bersama dengan uh, Georgetown di Penang. Alright, so here are some of the uh, interesting uh, tourist spot which is uh, which are very famous in Malacca. So first of all, it will be Jonker Street. I believe a lot of you have heard of uh, Jonker Street. So Jonker Street is actually a street with uh, all the street uh, food vendors. They're selling food, they're selling uh, you know, accessories or even gifts. So as you can see, uh, it's surrounding or I would say uh, it's uh, at the road, at the street, uh, which is covered by uh, old and heritage uh, buildings. Okay, sorry. So, uh, uh, okay. uh, ya ini adalah uh, uh, tempat wisata yang terdapat di Melaka antara lain Jongko Street, lalu uh, status ini kita sebutnya uh, Gereja Merah ya, Red uh, Church, juga ada uh, Benteng, Pemirsa, dan ini satu lagi uh, Ya, yeah, inside tower. Hmm. Yeah, you need to speak louder. Uh, you need to speak louder. I can't hear you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so basically, uh, these are some of the tourist spots. So as you can see, Jonker Street, you know, Eiffel Mosai, and so on. So uh, these are the spots that usually tourists, when they come to Melaka, is uh, definitely, you know, definitely they will visit uh, these uh, tourist spots. And of course, uh, there are others like, you know, uh, Melaka Street Malls and so on. But these are just some uh, main ones that we are showing to you. So next. So when we talk about tourism, why is it so important to us, Shintai International? It's because, uh, like uh, Nicholas has mentioned, we are doing property development and also we are doing uh, we are into the hospitality business. So which is why tourism is very important for us. So as you can see, this uh, data, this statistic uh, is actually uh, taken from uh, the Tourism Malaysia website. So uh, these are some of the data of the numbers of uh, tourists coming into Malaysia. So as you can see, uh, like I mentioned just now, in 2008, when Malacca was uh, declared as uh, the World Heritage, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site, so uh, from there onwards, uh, the numbers of tourists are uh, starting to uh, spike up. So uh, in 2008, you can see it's approximately 7 million of tourists per year. And uh, in 2018, I would say, 2019, before the covid we actually uh, actually reaches uh, around 80 million of uh, tourists. But unfortunately, due to the pandemic, uh, we couldn't uh, reach uh, the 20 million uh, numbers of tourists. But this is just a uh, prediction for 2020. But however, we did uh, actually reach 80 million of tourists. Uh, 
per year in 2019. Okey, ini adalah alasan uh, mengapa Sentai uh, Internasional uh, melihat Kota Melaka dan mengapa uh, mereka perlu uh, melihat uh, uh, bidang wisata sebagai supportingnya. Karena semenjak ditunjuk sebagai uh, World Heritage apa, warisan dunia oleh UNESCO pada tahun 2008, terjadi peningkatan yang signifikan uh, untuk jumlah kedatangan uh, turis ke uh, Melaka. Dari mulai sekitar 7 juta orang di tahun 2008, lalu di tahun 2018 sebelum pandemik sudah mencapai uh, angka di 18 juta turis per tahun. Dan di tahun 2020 sebetulnya uh, pemerintah Melaka memiliki proyeksi sekitar 20 juta turis, Namun sayang karena adanya pandemik target 20 juta tersebut tidak tercapai. Thank you Fariza. All right. So the next uh, important aspect I would say why should you invest in Malacca would be medical tourism. So uh, uh, even though Malacca has only approximately 1 million of population but if you have been to Malacca itself you can see there are a lot of you know uh, I mean uh, good quality top class uh, medical centers in Malacca. So it's because uh, due to the strategic location of this uh, city. So it's actually sitting very near to Indonesia and of course uh, uh, near to Singapore. And also why there are so many foreigners, especially from Indonesia and Singapore coming to Malacca to seek for you know, uh, medical consultation, uh, aesthetic uh, you know, surgery and so on. It's because uh, like I've uh, written here, So the key factors that make uh, Malacca a top destination for medical tourism is because of, first of all, would be the quality and affordability. So if you are talking about the medical in Singapore, yes, the quality is good, but of course, uh, the expenses or the cost, I would say, is uh, slightly on the higher side as well. But in Malaysia, we provide actually high quality of medical. At the same time, the price is uh, very affordable, especially... uh, You know, uh, like even though you are talking about top uh, class uh, medical centers like uh, Prince Court Medical Center in Kuala Lumpur, uh, they provide good quality of medical services, but they also charge uh, for the uh, affordably. So uh, the next one would be uh, accommodation. So that means uh, in Malacca itself, there are a lot of different kinds of uh, medical centers. So as a foreigner, you can go to the cheaper ones, the affordable ones. And of course, you can still go to a you know the more expensive one, but in comparison, uh, the price is still rather cheap compared to uh, countries like uh, Singapore and so on. Okay, uh, yang menjadi faktor utama uh, mengapa Malaka uh, juga sebagai pusat uh, med- uh, wisata medis ialah karena uh, salah satunya adalah kualitas dan uh, keterjangkauan. Di selain jarak yang dekat dengan Indonesia, contohnya juga uh, keterjangkauan daripada harga bila dibandingkan dengan fasilitas-fasilitas kesehatan uh, yang ada di uh, Malaysia tapi di kota besar seperti di Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Alright, so this are uh, one of the articles that I found online. So uh, it's actually from uh, 2015. So it's uh, written here that Malacca medical tourism uh, hits over 500,000 500, tourists seeking for treatment. And uh, on the second paragraph, uh, you can see that Indonesians are uh, made the bulk of uh, medical tourists to the state followed by Singaporeans as well, like I mentioned in the previous uh, slide. Ya, yeah, dalam uh, berita ini juga ada salah satu berita ditemukan di tahun 2015. yang mana pemerintah Melaka berhasil um, mendapatkan uh, 500 ribu uh, turis yang men, um, datang ke Melaka untuk mendapatkan uh, perawatan medis. Alright, so the third element of why you should invest in Malaysia, uh, sorry Melaka, is manufacturing. So as we can see, although Melaka is not a very big a huge uh, state due to its uh, strategic location uh, which is quite near to straight as, straight as Malacca so you can see uh, Malacca has a strong manufacturer contributing a GD- GDP of 41% of whole Malacca 
So uh, these are some of the existing company, uh, overseas company, uh, multinational companies that are in Malacca. You know, they already have uh, offices, uh, company, and even factories in Malacca. So uh, there are companies from Germany, Australia, US, Taiwan, Japan, and some of those uh, famous uh, brands like Honda, Panasonic, and so on. So why do they choose Malacca? So besides the strategic location, as you can see from here, because Malacca government actually offers uh, potential investors, especially from overseas, a lot of incentive to encourage them to set up a company or set up business here. So these are some of the few points. Uh, quick processing of all application. So meaning to say it takes a, a, just a short time for overseas company to apply to open up a business in Malacca. So free trade industrial zone, excellent infrastructural uh, facilities, a literate and educated workforce, and uh, last but not least, uh, excellent recreational facilities. Okay, ini uh, adalah salah satu uh, yang, yang, I mean, yang ketiga, uh, mengapa kita uh, harus memilih Malaka untuk uh, berinvest. Karena di sana terdapat banyak uh, manufacturer, pabrik, dari uh, berbagai negara, Jerman, Australia, Taiwan, Jepang, dan perusahaan-perusahaan tersebut tidak hanya yang uh, perusahaan yang kita belum pernah dengar uh, namanya, tetapi juga termasuk perusahaan-perusahaan dengan brand-brand ternama seperti Panasonic, Konica, Honda, uh, Maxell. Dan kenapa banyak perusahaan mem- mendirikan pabriknya di Melaka antara lain karena proses uh, untuk mendapatkan perizinan dan lain-lain sangat mudah, Uh, juga uh, free trade uh, mereka punya free trade industrial zone ada zona ada zona free trade nya uh, juga uh, fasilitas uh, infrastruktur yang uh, yang yang baik uh, kawasan lingkungan kerja yang apa yang juga baik dan uh, ditunjang dengan fasilitas rekreasi yang uh, luar biasa Okay, uh, so to add on one more point, uh, why do I mention manufacturing uh, sectors in Malacca is because uh, uh, with all these uh, international companies coming into Malacca, so obviously, uh, obviously it will increase a lot of uh, job opportunities and also uh, it will, you know, when locals, they get to earn money, so they will have the ability to purchase uh, more properties or so on, or even expats, you know, for employees from overseas coming to these companies to work. So they will find a place to rent. So which is why We Shengtai International is uh, constantly developing a lot of projects in Malacca because the demand is there. All right, so last but not least, uh, and also one of the most important point is uh, Straits of Malacca. As uh, I believe most of you have, uh, have heard, heard of uh, Straits of Malacca. So it, uh, for this point, I will actually break down into two uh, a uh, huge event that is happening in Malacca because of Strait of, Strait of Malacca. So one of them is uh, One Belt, One Road. Another one uh, which happened uh, quite recent, which is the MVETS. It's uh, called Malacca Waterfront uh, Economic Zone. So uh, like uh, Nicholas has mentioned just now, One Belt, One Road initiative. So to those who doesn't know what One Belt, One Road is, so a very simple explanation is that One Belt, One Road is actually a global in- infrastructure development strategy adopted by the Chinese government in 2013. So it actually connecting all uh, 70 uh, countries and also international organizations, connect, connecting all the routes across the globe, starting from China, all the way to Africa, to Europe, to Asia, and going back to China. So uh, meaning to say they are using these uh, routes to trade goods or uh, I mean, it will contribute a huge uh, impact on the economic sector in Malaysia. And of course, uh, Malacca is one of the point. And Malacca is one of the uh, most important location, especially because it's uh, strategically uh, you know, located at the side of Strait of Malacca. Okay, uh, One Belt, One Road initiative ini, uh, kalau kita mau sebut uh, dengan uh, istilah yang gampang, yaitu... Uh, ini adalah inisiatif uh, jalur perdagangan yang dibuat oleh uh, pemerintah Cina sejak 2013. 
yaitu uh, jalur perdagangan baik uh, jalan darat maupun laut yang menghubungkan uh, hampir 70 negara yang melakukan perdagangan dengan Cina dan uh, Selat Melaka adalah salah satu dari uh, jalur yang penting untuk uh, perdagangan tersebut. Alright, so this is actually the whole map of uh, the one by one road route. So and also here I've stated that uh, how this one by one road initiative uh, actually benefits uh, Malaysia as a whole and also uh, Malacca. So it increases connectivity, like I mentioned just now. It increases the quality, uh, policy coordination uh, between nations, increase a financial uh, integ integration uh, be between nations, increase cultural and academic exchange, and also last but not least, uh, decrease the barriers you know to cross border trading. So meaning to say, uh, uh, it it loosen up the restriction, you know, to trade among uh, the nations. Ya, uh, kita lihat dari sini, uh, inilah yang disebut jalur uh, perdagangan One Belt One Road yang mulai dari uh, yang menghubungkan antara China, uh, Asia Tengah hingga ke Timur Tengah juga ke. Amerika dan India, Eropa, Amerika dan India. Alright, so uh, another good news or I would say a huge event uh, that happened recently would be this uh, MVAT. Uh, MVAT stands for Malacca Waterfront Economic Zone. So uh, this uh, event is actually a proposed uh, coastal development, you know, uh, started by our Malacca government. Uh, to make Malacca an international trade uh, route and also in the heart of Southeast Asia. Uh, due to this uh, Malacca uh, strategic uh, geographical uh, position, as in uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, and also, also Thailand, so they wanted to form a, uh, re a regional corridor for the trading uh, on also economic. Uh, ini, uh, yang baru ini adalah... Uh... Melaka Waterfront Economic Zone, jadi uh, pembentukan uh, zona ekonomi Melaka uh, yang membantu peningkatan uh, perdagangan dan juga mensupport perusahaan-perusahaan uh, manufaktur yang ada di Melaka. Okay. So yeah, uh, like I've mentioned just now, so these are some of the uh, brief introduction of this uh, event. So as you can see, uh, before this uh, event, uh, Straits of Malacca uh, yearly, we have actually uh, more than 100,000 of fans by the Straits of Malacca, uh, carrying and so on. And also, uh, they are expecting uh, with this event, this development, so over the next, and next, uh, you know, 100 billion ringgit of Malaysia of investment and uh, 20,000 of uh, job opportunity each year. And this uh, MVAS uh, aiming to use this uh, smart and green technology to create sustainable, uh, viable development to address investment. Yeah. Yeah. Zona ekonomi Melaka ini diharapkan uh, akan uh, membawa lebih dari 100 ribu uh, kapal setiap tahunnya dan uh, akan membuat, uh, akan menambah dalam 10 tahun, akan menciptakan kurang lebih 100 miliar ringgit uh, investasi dan menciptakan lebih dari 20 ribu uh, lapangan pekerjaan setiap tahunnya. Okay. All right. That's all for my presentation. So to sum it all up, uh, I would say uh, these are some of the reasons uh, why you should invest in Malacca and also why uh, We Shingta International has invested heavily into Malacca. I mean, this uh, city as uh, due to, like I mentioned just now, it's tourism, medical tourism, manufacturing, and also Straits of Malacca. So uh, for more information regarding our iconic uh, building, the sale, so you can always uh, get in touch with all our salesperson or even uh, a ferry so to know more.
So uh, without wasting any more time, I would like to pass on to Viho, my colleague, to show you the actual progress of uh, the sale and also to let you know more about our Kuala Lumpur project called Novo. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Salam sejahtera, Papa dan Ibuan. So my name is B Ho. I'm going to share with you some of uh, our projects in KL Kuala Lumpur, which is located in Jalan Ampang. All right. So let me share some screen and share with you guys some of the uh, information. Okay, so Jala Ampang. So as you can see here, Jala Ampang is actually a very near to KL city center. So for this project is actually, we, uh, we call it Novo Jala Ampang. So before that, I'm going to show you what is it about, all right? So what a very nice and contemporary lifestyle design. All right. So actually, Jalan Ampang is famous of a lot of things. So let's take a look at this location. The Lokasi is in the heart of KL, Kuala Lumpur. 
So in the whole Jala Ambang is actually full of facilities nearby. Okay, what we can see here, you can see from the map here, there are also there are more than 50 embassy. Jala Ampang also called there's there's another name for Jala Ampang, which is called Embassy Road. So you can see here our Nova just right next to a very famous shopping mall, which is Great Eastern Mall. And the opposite of Novo is actually a five-star luxury Glen Eagle Medical Center, which is uh, Park Riza from, all right? So yeah, there are a lot of embassy and a lot of international school nearby, all right? So as for ladies, if you like to shopping, if you stay in Novo, you can go to KLCC, pavilion just within few kms it's about three kms you can reach klcc all right all the all the five star shopping mall is just nearby jala ampang all right next will be medical center so for those people who really uh take care of themselves or you want to let your parents to stay near stay in novo here to do their medication we have other than Glen eagle hospital we have HSC Medical Center and also Prince Scott Medical Center, just nearby only. Then the next one will be our clubhouse, which is we have Royal Selangor Club Golf Club and also Recreation Park, just right behind of Novo. Okay. So when you are focusing more to your children for your kids to study international school, Novo will be the best choice for you. Okay, so we have this, the most famous international school of KL, Kuala Lumpur, and also Safer International School, just right behind and next to Novo only. So for this ISKL, it's just about 50 meters walking distance. And also it's one of the biggest international school, which located, which they have about 2,500 students from kindergarten to grade 12, okay? So for the next one, let me show you what uh, where is the actual location for Novo. So as you can see here, Novo is located opposite of Glen Eagle Hospital, just within three km it will reach KLCC and you can see there is a, one of the trademark of our building KL Tower and also our TRX at the back here you can see just like I have mentioned Royal Selangor Golf Club just right next behind for international school is just behind of Novo, which is located here, and the recreation park, just not less than 500 meters. So it's actually very easy access. You can see their middle ring road, MRR2 highway, just next to it. So this is the Novo location, very convenient. So come to Novo, actually Novo is a free whole title, free whole uh, uh, service apartment. So it's actually very limited in Kuala Lumpur now. So, and it's actually very low density. We only have 395 units. As you can see from the video just now, we have a lot of uh, high security, three-tier security, and also we have a lot of facilities like Infinity Sky Pool, and also uh, Cigar Bar, Cafeteria, and so on. So for Novo, it's actually almost completed. So we expect to complete in end of this year, quarter four year 2021. So this is actually the Novo progression so almost complete, it's about 80% completed. So I'm going to show you uh, the actual video for the 
progress. So if you are interested in Kuala Lumpur properties and would like to do investment, we also provide exclusive investment package for our investors. So if you want to find out more details about it, perhaps you can contact our team, Park Ferry and the team to find out more. So we will provide you some, we will let you know more details about it. Okay, so that's all for the presentation of our novel so part result perhaps maybe you can summarize the novel project to our audience our guests here all right uh Leo. okay bapak ibu uh novel ini adalah project uh, uh, kondo yang terdapat di jalan ampang yang mana jalan ampang itu terkenal sebagai uh, uh, banyak terdapat uh, kedutaan lebih dari 50 kedutaan, bahkan jalan ampang itu sendiri kita sebut adalah uh, uh, embassy street, jalan jalan uh, kedutaan. Dan kemudian uh, di situ juga terdapat dua uh, sekolah internasional uh, yang uh, dan juga terdapat empat lapangan golf, sehingga membuat lokasi tersebut uh, sangat strategis. Selain itu, selain sekolah juga terdapat empat rumah sakit besar di sekitar Jalan Ampang yang mudah dicapai dari lokasi Novo. Nah, oleh sebab itu, uh, sayang sekali bila uh, bila kita kalau bila kita ingin dan kita mampu, uh, tapi kita tidak segera uh, mendapatkan uh, the Novo atau berinvest di proyek the Novo ini. Karena uh, salah satu seperti Grand Eagles juga uh, yang terdapat di depan Novo, lokasinya itu persis di seberangnya Grand Eagles, sudah banyak dokter-dokter yang uh, membeli. Is it right, Vio? A lot of doctors of Grand Eagles bought the unit in Novo, right? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Oke, okay, uh, jadi uh, nanti untuk paket investasi yang uh, khusus bagi para anggota FKUK uh, nanti silakan kontak Pak Ferry dan teman-teman. Yes, all right. So that's all for our presentation. So any one of you have any questions? Uh, ada sebarang soalan nak tanya tentang uh, our company, our the sale and our novel. Please uh, right here we can answer uh, accordingly. All right. Um, thank you. That's uh, thank you, Nicholas, um, Anson, and Fiho. That was um, really interesting when you explain about Malacca. Yeah. So um, I thought Malacca. It's about um, hundred meter, hundred hundred kilometer from Dumai. So uh, that's about, I think, uh, two hours uh, by boat. I think, and uh, I think. Uh, 15 minutes by plane so when you board in and then get some cakes you haven't finished it and then you just you will arrive at destination so uh, no chance to um, to have uh, uh, enjoy your meal in the, in the plane yeah if you want to take a plane uh, from Malacca to uh, Dumai that's very close um, thank you so much for the um, introductions and uh, Profiles. I got a few questions here. Um, Bukaren will 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 also put the um, the the questions from our friends. Um, I think the um, the I think I just uh, read a few questions here that maybe um, one of you, Nicolas, um, Anson, or um, Fiho can answer that. 
At the same time, uh, Bapak Ibu yang ada pertanyaan, di, silahkan di, uh, bisa ditanyakan di file chat. Uh, sebelum itu, mungkin ada yang tadi ada yang uh, kita ketinggalan untuk Bu Kerin, untuk uh, perkenalan Pak Nikolas, sedikit profilnya mungkin tadi saya sempat terlewat untuk ini. Jadi mungkin ada teman-teman yang pengen tahu profil Pak Nikolas, mungkin bisa dimunculkan di share dulu Pak Nikolas. Jadi biar lebih kenal, lebih enak begitu ya. Ya, yeah. oke. Okay. I think uh, those are just past experience, Pak Ferry. Yeah. Oke, okay. yeah, that's okay. Uh, at least. Hmm. So Pak Nicholas basically um, currently um, um, says uh, the sales marketing director, general manager untuk di Sengtai International di Malaysia saat ini. Uh, beliau ada background di untuk di um, medical technology di USA dan juga untuk uh, bachelor of science dua-duanya di USA. Uh, beliau pengalaman di um, marketing baik di Malaysia maupun di internasional uh, tadi sudah disebutkan ada pengalaman di uh, banyak di, di di China ya terutama ya dan untuk background beliau sebenarnya uh, orang teknik mesin ya uh, dan saat ini um, dipercaya disengtai untuk uh, memperkenalkan produknya di pasar internasional um, mungkin itu saja uh, terima kasih Pak Nicholas profilnya Um, I'm just going to back to the few questions here that I got. So uh, at least uh, I think just start with one of first questions. Um, hmm. I think why Malacca? Um, is there any plan to expand to other state like Penang or I mean why Seng Tai choose Malacca? That's a, a, a first one. I got a three here that maybe later on um, Buken will yeah. uh, show other questions. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, um, why Malacca itself? Uh, first of all, it needs to start back from our origin, from uh, Sheng Tai, where uh, Sheng Tai's uh, founder actually involved in uh, two of the abandoned projects uh, back in uh, 2014, 2015 at that time. So these two, uh, she was the uh, white knight to save all these two, these two projects. One is the uh, the Ames Hotel in Ayankaro, and one is over at the uh, Regalia Beachfront in Tanjung Kling. So after she's doing this a uh, good job, the uh, government uh, or uh, or the Chief Minister of Malacca actually noticed that and wanted her to do more uh, of this uh, work for the uh, community of Malacca. That's why already uh, she was given also a lot of opportunities to ex expand and also to. Uh, how do you say, to, to, to make Malacca better. Uh, that's where we came to have a lot of uh, partners and support that comes in to uh, Shanghai International. And one of them did uh, offer us to, the, to build another project in Malacca uh, near Kota Laksamana. And from there on, uh, the story continues and uh, uh, the, uh, the, our largest project, which is called the Sale, the concept came out and uh, until today, it's already uh, up to its uh, current stage. So that leads to your second question, which is uh, uh, due to this pandemic right now, uh, when do you think the uh, completion date it is? So uh, as I've said, uh, we've always planned it to be in uh, 2025 or 2026 to complete the whole project itself. And if you look at the video that we showed just now, the uh, construction uh, in May 2021, we have already uh, completed completed 80% of uh, the first phase. We total have uh, six phases. Uh, so the first phase is already 80% con uh, completed and supposed to be completed by end of this year if the lockdown doesn't affect us anymore. But uh, looking at the uh, numbers right now, uh, the uh, COVID cases in Malaysia, uh, we are quite uh, optimistic that you know we, we, we can still make it uh, by end of this year. So second phase is already in progress uh, at around uh, 20% uh, of uh, we're doing tiling currently. So if you look at the video again, uh, later we'll share the video of course again 
to everyone. If you look at the video at the back of the project, you see things being done and piling machine over there. So uh, at this point of time, we are still very optimistic that uh, we are still can catch up to the schedule itself. And uh, but, but the main thing is still safety first uh, for everyone. And I think the third question is, uh, is it the progress, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, yeah, the, the progress up to this stage, I think, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll go to phase two, which is our, uh, our Malacca Cultural Street, uh, which is all the uh, cultures from uh, the Chinese, Malay, Indian, uh, Japanese, you know, um, Malacca has been a very uh, cultural rich state. So we also want to portray out all the, uh, the, the countries or the cultures that came to Malacca before, again, to portray the, uh, the uh, products, their fashion or their food inside this Malacca cultural uh, village. So that is our stage two. And uh, stage one, oh, sorry, stage one is actually our sales gallery, which is 80%. Then uh, stage three will be our uh, shopping mall. The shopping mall is actually around 1 million, 1 million square feet underneath the uh, nine towers sitting on top. So uh, phase four, five, six, uh, that would be under uh, the three, the nine towers itself. Uh, so divided three, three, three towers for each phase. So that's the progress. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Nicholas, thank you. Um, Bu Kerin, boleh minta tolong ditampilkan lagi uh, pertanyaannya. Tadi pertanyaan pertama sudah terjawab ya tadi. Uh, sekarang pertanyaan kedua. So this is the second question, Nicholas. Um, yes. So yeah. if uh, people, I mean, if uh, the audience here today, uh, definitely, uh, uh, you can, you uh, if you know Malacca itself, the uh, Malacca Church, uh, from that position going to the sale, it's actually you're going to the direction of uh, the, the new reclaimed land uh, nearby the seaside. So I would say from for driving is around 15 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on the traffic itself. So uh, you, if you know also the, uh, where the Malacca Impression uh, Theater is, yeah, we are just right opposite it, okay? And uh, the price of uh, currently the project is running. Uh, currently, we're selling the uh, five-star hotel, okay? Currently, what you are buying or you, what you are investing is the five-star hotel. The five-star hotel actually costs around uh, 800000 onwards uh, for the uh, spawnless room, around 300 over square feet. Uh, because this is a hotel, uh, it, it comes with all the, uh, what you call that, renovation definitely a five-star hotel we are setting up so the uh, renovation is five-star renovations uh with all the amenities and everything in there so uh don't look at it as a a a, a house or a, a service apartment that you intend to stay in but more looking at into an investment in investment for yourself uh this is very important now because uh if you see a lot of businesses are closing down and couldn't um, couldn't run anymore, uh, and you need actually uh, investments or passive income that you can uh, enjoy even though you you are not working. So investing in uh, Shanghai International actually is a very uh, I would say a very good thing, as we've been doing this type of uh, investment for the past uh, uh, for the past uh, twelve years already. Uh, since our first project, and we have uh, been paying out all this investment uh, very uh, precise timing for the past 12 years. All right, um, that's the second question. Um, the third one, so this is the third one that uh, we receive. Okay. If we buy this project, can we get MM2H? So, to make things clear, MM2H and property buying is two separate things. Uh, it when you buy a property, uh, the agent cannot say we will give you a MM2H. Uh, it doesn't come together, okay? And that's the rule because Shintai International have our own MM2H company. It's called Shintai 
MM2H Sundra and Bahad. So uh, it is, uh, uh, elite, I mean, uh, the legal way to say it is we can help you uh, to process the MM2H uh, once you're on board with us because uh, people or uh, investors that owns a property, uh, it's easier to, uh, to, to, to be applied or get a good uh, MM, or get the uh, MM2H, okay? But there's so many MM2H companies outside. International's uh, MM2H company, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's the reason why. Shenzhen International is, uh, MM2H is actually the uh, official uh, sponsors uh, for uh, 2019 MM2H uh, video. Uh, because we have developed, uh, Dato Leong actually uh, uh, developed a very good relationship with the uh, MM2H and the uh, tourism and uh, immigration uh, uh, department, where they invited us uh, to, to be part of the uh, video itself. So if you look at the video uh, for 2019 MM2H, you can actually see a lot of uh, Xing Tai's uh, element in there. Uh, maybe later, uh, Mr. Mr. Ho or Anson also can share some uh, this video uh, to our uh, audience today. Thank you, Nicholas. Um, I think that's the third. Um, now, next questions. Hmm. What facilities do you have surrounding the sales besides shopping center, international schools, hospital, etc? Okay. So the concept of uh, the sale is actually a commercial uh, development and uh, it's a mixed commercial development actually. And definitely uh, we want all the elements to be in there. From all the nine towers itself, you can actually look at, uh, we have, uh, we're looking into health or not actually it's called wellness, okay? Uh, we do have wellness uh, element. We do have uh, education uh, element. Uh, where we want to, uh, we are working actually with uh, Health University to uh, develop courses or seminars, uh, uh, courses inside uh, the sale also. In fact, Help already uh, invested uh, or joined a collaboration with Shintai International to set up the, uh, uh, one of their school in our nearby our hotel in Ames, Ayaka Road. And uh, in terms of uh, wellness, we're talking to uh, stem cells companies, we're talking to uh, aesthetics and uh, a lot of other clinics to bring their brands into the sale itself. And uh, definitely uh, we want to have uh, fashion elements, entertainments, uh, shopping, food and beverage. And one very main thing is cultural. Uh, a lot of people, this uh, 18 to 20 million of people coming to Malacca is to enjoy the uh, culture, cultural of Malacca itself. And uh, Dato Leong has made it very clear that she wanted to do a, to to have a uh, cultural tower uh, to be inside the sale, and uh, she's going to. Uh, at, I mean, you, a coincidence, uh, I would say. So next week, uh, I'll do a little advertisement. Next week, Thursday, around if I'm not mistaken, at three p.m., we'll be having a press conference uh, to announce the uh, cultural tower for uh, the sale. Uh, this is uh, backed up and supported by uh, Dato Wira Gan. He's the, uh, one of the uh, China's ambassador uh, from Malaysia that stays in uh, Malacca itself. So maybe we can learn more uh, during that time. Uh, next, this coming Thursday at 3 p.m. All right, that was for fourth questions. Uh, question number five. Yes. What's the range of Novo? Okay, Novo is a separate thing. Uh, if you're looking for a property that is uh, fully developed and you're looking to have your own house or service apartment to stay in Kuala Lumpur, okay, KL, KL, that's the word, then uh, Novo is for you. Uh, that's where you need to look for Viho because he's the expert for uh, Novo also. Uh, and uh, Novo's pricing uh, starts from 1.1, uh, 1.15 uh, million ringgit in Malaysia. Why at that price? Because uh, if you're a foreign uh, buyer or you're foreign investors, uh, there's actually a cap to how much a property uh, you can own in Malaysia. For Kuala Lumpur uh, properties, it has to be at least 1 million ringgit in Malaysia and above. 
And if it's in Malacca, it has to be 500,000 and above. So uh, the range uh, starts from 1.15 uh, million ringgit uh, Malaysia for Novo. And that is around 686 uh, square feet for a single room apartment or a dual key, dual bedroom uh, apartment. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Nicholas, again. Um, Thank you. you mentioned, see if you need details, nanti kalau ada Bapak Ibu um, perlu penanyaan lebih lanjut, nanti kita ada akan share uh, nomor, uh, bisa menghubungi kita-kita, teman-teman yang ada di sini. Uh, just one more questions. I think uh, while we're waiting for if there's other questions from the chat, um, they mentioned, I think the, on the flyer, Nicholas uh, mentioned about the um, uh, guaranteed rental return atau um, investment dengan garansi balik modal. Mm -hmm. um, could you explain a bit more on this? Um, just overview on that? Sure. Uh, so uh, whatever you are investing currently, um, it comes with also a guarantee rental. Uh, I would say a rental uh, that we pay you back. The model of the uh, whole business is uh, you buy the unit or you buy the property and uh, Xing Tai will lease it back from the buyer and Xing Tai will run it as the hotel. Okay, so uh, that is the module of how we are working it. Why, why, why? Because uh, we need hotel. Malaysia is a very uh, rich place for tourists to come over. And uh, in fact, uh, for Malacca and also Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malacca has a very low uh, rate of uh, hotels. So meaning to say for 20 million people, we, we don't have enough hotels in Malacca. So uh, that's why we are turning a lot of our properties into hotels for them to stay. So this in, in fact, or in return, generate incomes back into the company itself to sustain and also to build other projects uh, in the future. So uh, all these are paid out uh, differently depending on what you want or what you need. Uh, and that is a very tedious uh, process where I would like our listeners to submit your name or your telephone number to uh, Park Ferry uh, so that my consultants or my agents or my colleagues can give you a private call to explain the details to you. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Nicholas, again for this. I think mm -hmm. um, this question number six. Um, I think on the on the chat, uh, yes. Nas about deposit and then uh, usually uh, we will talk uh, the the the, uh, uh, the paying process is actually uh, uh, we would like to uh, confirm the sales by uh, 30 days and collect the, uh, the full payment for 30 days. So uh, it comes back to the, the same question of uh, depending which area you want and uh, which project do you want uh, because we have specific packages for different projects. So uh, it is, uh, I would say, uh, it is uh, very, uh, I would say it's uh, very uh, specific, okay? So it's best that my colleagues can call you and give you a full uh, detailed explanation. Baik, terima kasih. Um, if there's um, if there's anyone, kalau ada bapa ibu yang silakan di kolom chat lagi. Um, kalau tidak ada, nanti kita akan kasih share um, nomor kita yang bisa kita bapa ibu bisa hubungi untuk kita. Uh, bisa adakan session lagi kalau perlu. Uh, yes, Nicholas. Um, if this um, some of our friends want to know a bit more, so I think um, will you be available to um, to have another sessions maybe um, another day? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Just let us know, and then uh, we will uh, we can definitely have another session. All right, fantastic. Okay, um, I think uh, we have three twenty eight right now, so I. 
think um, if there's no more questions on this, um, uh, we will conclude on that. So I think um, on behalf of um, Forum Komunikasi Makis in Indonesia, I think we would like to great um, thanks to Nicolas and team, and also for the presenter, um, Piho and Anson. Um, really great sessions to give overview of the um, investment opportunity and also all these uh, projects. Um, and also, um, part of the, our sponsor our program as well, we have online webinars and also in the next uh, few events. Um, I think um, before I conclude, there will be, I think um, this is the, uh, the contact. Um, you can con uh, Bapak Ibu, kalau ada pertanyaan, silahkan uh, kontak di nomor berikut. Uh, Bu Karen bisa share. Sekali lagi. Jadi mungkin ada bisa menghubungi nomor ini. Jadi nanti ada pertanyaan seputar uh, proyek apa, uh, ataupun lebih lanjut, nanti kita bisa mengatur dan menghubungi Pak Nicholas dan tim ya, untuk uh, sesi lebih lanjutnya. Um, that's all from us. Thank you so much, um, hmm. Nicholas and team. Uh, Bukerin, do you have anything to? I think uh, on the last slide, I think this um, the flow of the events before we um, we conclude and. Udah enggak Pak Ferry? Udah selesai. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, again. Um, Bapak Ibu, kalau ada pertanyaan, nanti kita bisa lebih lanjut. Uh, thank you again, Nicholas, for the sessions. That was all for our great sessions. Um, definitely, we'll we'll keep in touch if there's any questions. I think terima kasih Pak Riza dan semua tim um, Sengtai. Yes. Yeah. All right. Great to, to 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 have you all. Thank you, Pak Ferry and uh, your team, right. and also Pak Riza for translating today. And to our wonderful audience that have uh, not fell asleep uh, to our long winding uh, presentation. Uh, definitely, we'd like to invite you to come to our office uh, when the uh, borders open or even uh, this after the MCO. Okay? All right, though. So have, uh, have a good weekend, guys. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye, bye. Everyone, see you next time. Thank bye -bye. you, Pa. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you.